um, good evening or morning or whatever time it is there. I'm back playing Cruise for a Corpse. I lowered the volume of the game a bit because I think the music was, was a bit too loud, so I hope it's better now. But anyways, I'm back. And uh, I, I did check a walkthrough yesterday because there was one thing I missed that on one hand I feel uh, silly for missing it but on the other I did try. I suspect that there might be something there but I didn't notice and it's this jewel case. Um, there's something here. I was I did try to sweep through it. Ah, okay, here. Yeah, this part you have to look because see, you can sweep through. You can you can just see the cursor with the guy walking, so it does nothing. But this part, there's no like visual indicator except, of course, putting your mouse cursor over it to see that there's something to notice. There are initials on the clasp of the bracelet, RJ, so who is RJ, there's some Rebecca, I think, what was it, the wife of Monsignor, Monsieur Karabujan. Let's check the map, because I can see the names, yeah, it's Rebecca Karabujan. But maybe her maiden name could start with a J. It's none of this, no. Well, um, wait, it was RJ, so Richard could be Dick, but it's not J. Schmuck, so I guess not him. Raul Ducentier, well, I, I'm, my name starts with an R. Rose Logan, not quite. Simon Van Muller. I don't know. I my prime suspect is that it's Rebecca, RJ, or of course it could be somebody completely different who is not on board the ship. Just walk around. Yeah, now there's music. It's quite quiet. Maybe it's too quiet, but I guess it's. I prefer it that way. So you can listen to my beautiful voice instead. But, um, but yeah, actually, I did check like the Amiga 500 version of it of this game on YouTube, like a video yesterday, and I think the music was much better in the Amiga version than this one. Hmm. Hmm. Draw. Actually, I did check that. Yeah, there should be a drawer in this room. That's that's all I read in the walkthrough. Engagement invitations. Uh, Mrs. Rebecca Vivian Jones. See, I was right. Rebecca is Rebecca Jones, and that was just a guess. I I, I didn't read it, but okay, I'll continue. Mrs. Rebecca Vivian jo Jones and her husband, Mr. Nicholas Karabujan, have the pleasure to request the honor of your presence at the engagement of their daughter Daphne to Mr. Julio Esperanza, Isoka Lambada. Mm, Rebecca Vivian Joyce, RV Job J. Strange, very strange. So the, the bracelet, 
was in Mr. Garabu Jan's office under lock and key and it has the initials of his wife I guess that's normal but but then we have the like a receipt or something that Tom had um, bought the bracelet so did actually Tom buy it to give to Rebecca or I guess we'll find out eventually but this is one of the things I really like about uh, adventure games especially this sort of murder mystery type that you know you can think about these things oh what does this clue mean also, I also like uh, detective stories and you know Hercule Poirot and so forth Ah, who's this? Dick. Ah, okay, this is the elusive Dick. How can I help you, Inspector? Okay, let's ask about Tom. How should I? I should try to do like very British working class accent. I don't know if I manage. Logan is a first class scoundrel. That's not British at all. If you ask me. Maybe it's more like a American wise guy or something. This will surprise me and now he's, I don't know, something else. Tom and Rose is married. The little one doesn't seem very happy. Julio. The little one? He would be better off in ER. Me, they would make a man out of him. Julia's cars, yeah, seems like he's loaded. Boy, he's loaded. Okay, now I got in my into my British mood. Julio's family, never seen him. Now it's, I don't know, I keep switching. It's for June, uh, just look at him, he's a daddy son. Okay, Fabiani, the priest. A priest? Don't know him. Bishop's letter. I never saw this letter. Boy, I never saw a letter. Don't know much. People say he has financial problems. Well, not interested. Blah blah. Wasn't there. Oh, didn't notice. Fabian suit. He never heard. Okay. Doesn't know much about Fabiani and Suzanne. Lots of text. She ain't bad for age, don't, in it. <laughs> Susan and Fabiani's friendship didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. It's, so he doesn't know about Susan and that father Fabiani wanted her to come, and that's why she's here. Suzanne is a real chatterbox. They kept arguing her and Nicholas. Well, it could be Fabian is the killer, and he brought Suzanne here to like uh, create distractions and stuff. But yeah, maybe not. Well, yeah, alcohol preserves, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't know nothing, Inspector. Menopause. Okay. You, Dick. I grew up in the street, first in the orphanage and then the Foreign Legion. A true man's life, you know. Oh, okay, so he's very French. Because Frenchmen either grow up on the street or the Foreign Legion. That's what I've heard. Uh, Hector, the flunky? Yeah, fishy, don't you think so? Well, yeah, he's the butler, so of course he's fishy. And we are on a ship that makes everything twice as fishy. You know, they all seem like this, but when you get to know them, it's a different story. Fabian. 
Thank you note. Don't know about it. Meeting at the bar. Never heard of this. Nicholas death. Poor boy. Cartier. Yeah, this receipt. Engagement. Okay. So he didn't sell us much, but I guess now we can ask other people about Dick. We sort of unlock that option, I believe. Barrist. Guess I can just open the map. Let's see if we can. Well, we can go there. How about this? Nope. Daphne and Suzanne Plums can be on. Nope. Father Fabiani. Well, let's see if he's home. What may I do for you, Inspector? Dick. Do you like Dick? I don't know this boy well enough to give my, you my advice. Uh, engagement invitations. Nicholas had only one desire to marry off his daughter. <clears throat> Nicholas had only one desire to marry off his daughter. I believe that he found Julia suitable enough and sped things up by announcing their engagement. Yeah, I guess because Julio is loaded or his family is, so of course you want your daughter to marry somebody like that. Uh, I don't think there's any other new sub... Ah, oh, okay. Daphne and Julio, Julio's engagement. Daphne was furious as usual. Nicholas forgot to consult the person most concerned. Uh, okay, so she didn't know they're gonna be engaged. That's not surprising, but interesting. So wait, Dick. Okay, Dick isn't a young boy, but he had a teddy bear on his bed. Handle, nah, well it's still locked. I, I just want to try to knock on the door. Like, you know, maybe one once in this game you actually have to knock on the door and something useful happens. Uh, paper, no, I still have no rag to, you know, clean this up. The, or is this the dirty one? Hook. Yeah. Chain, good rail. Um, okay. Is what's Zuzanne still here? Yep, she likes her sunshine, I guess. Can I help you, Inspector? Uh, Daphne and Julio's engagement. Everyone was there except the fiancé. Nicholas sulked for a good week. You should have seen his face, Inspector. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> then in... Fabiani news, I guess no. Uh, Dick. Dick is a very charming person. He looks very nice, doesn't he? I'm not sure if she's being sarcastic or she actually likes him. Uh, engagement. Rebecca. Rebecca took care of them, but they were worthless because the engagement was called off. Ah, okay. Okay, so... 
cool nyo. Ah, uh, Who has fortune? Uh, family. Yeah, yeah, I think I've asked all of this stuff. Daphne, I cannot ask them. It's sort of weird that I cannot ask about Daphne. I think it's because I haven't talked to her yet, but it still, you know, doesn't make much sense. Um, let's go have a look. Can I go here? I guess no. Summon Rose, Slowness, Cabin. Swarm is here. So, what's new, Inspector? I uh, yeah, nothing new. Julio. Nicholas came up empty handed because his daughter categorically refused. It is the first time that I saw Nicholas give up. I'm I don't I'm not sure if my voice for this character was at all similar yesterday, but now it's like this. He's taken crazy pills clearly. Um, Dick. No one really knows Dick. <laughs> I think that pun was unintended. Nicholas tried to split things up between Daphne and Julio, so he attempted them to get them engaged. Okay. Uh, I think think I don't have anything else to ask. Well, yeah, there's there's the ash, like ashes on the floor in Karabujan's cabin and he said like he'd need a broom or a brush to clean it up, so here is a broom, you can take it. Of course I don't need to see the point why you would want to clean it up, because it's sort of evidence and I don't think cleaning it up will like, you know, let you find the hidden code or a um, hidden hatch to the... I don't know, the basement of the ship or whatever. Let's see if there's anybody here. No, I don't see anybody. Oh, the guy is gone. Can I take the stuff now? This is an adventure game, of course you should be taking all sorts of random that you know our character is standing here in the hallways or the open decks or whatever so occasionally I should probably just walk around in case I run into something Uh, 
cabin boy is not here. I still have no tools for the planks in the what's the word? My head is drawing a blank, like hold, I guess. That's the hold engine room. Can I go into the butler's cabin? Nope. Kitchen. How about laundry room? Is it is the woman still cleaning? Washing clothes. And the faucet is still running. Maybe I'll check out the toilets, you know, just in case there's somebody, you know, Rebecca is vomiting or Daphne or whoever here. And then it's the most important piece of evidence is that people sometimes vomit aboard ships. Ah, toilet paper. Was it really like this sticking out this much last time? Maybe it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should go to my own cabin. Maybe Julio is there because we share camp. No, where is mine? They here. It's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna write this. So it's mauve and brown. Not quite sure what mauve is, but it looks like it's purple. Clearly, it's gonna make a difference at some point. Like it's gonna matter what the color of his hat is. Whether you know, maybe he's he's the killer and he changed hats to not stand out so much, or somebody you know borrowed one of his hats to do something. You never know. But I always guess. Soap on the lock. I guess no. Ah, uh, no, that this was my cabin. I was thinking it was the other one. Just came from me. Great memory, or I'm not paying really attention to the geography of the ship because I'm trying to think like, who, where is, where can I find somebody to talk to? Front hall, what's this place? Ah, oh, it's this place, and here is the ship's catamite. No comprendo, señor. Y 
insert so maybe he needs soap because he's always washing the same spot The door, I believe, is still gonna be locked. Quel surprise! Surprise, I guess. It is locked. I don't really have any items like items for solving puzzles is mostly evidence and there's the key that I've already used so but uh, I looked at the time okay I was like whoa did I solve like find a clue or something Let's see if Dick has still something to say because well he didn't have much useful information to give me but maybe now who can I help you inspector Julio no 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 Fabian Yeah, he has like a medals or some badge or whatever from the military, I assume. Mm. I, I do think this game is fairly good despite the time but of course there's lots of small details like this like I'd like to be able to ask every character where were you at, by, at the time of the death and especially because I'm not quite sure when is the when is Mr. Garabujan supposedly have when did he die like because yeah and we were knocked out of course it could mean that Mr. Karabuja never died and and he faked his death and uh, you know for all I know the guy who knocked us knocked uh, Raul out is Mr. Karabuja and I don't know he's doing this to I don't know find out who's the traitor in his circle of friends or who knows what's going on Okay, these are alleyways. Do you call this like an alleyway on a ship? Actually, I'm not sure what's what is this. I don't know. Passage on the side of the ship called. Um, I don't know. Let's go here. <laughs> Hmm. 
is it? Is this supposed to be day or night? Because I mean, before noon or you know a.m. or p.m. Because here it looks quite bright. There's no clouds or anything. It's eerie. Yeah, yeah, I know it's the limitations of the old game, but still, well, here's, here I can see some clouds at least, but yeah, the sea is very, I don't know, plain. No, not now. Unfor, mm. I've tried this before. No, no, no. I cannot do it. I was just checking that I'm actually streaming. <laughs> it would have been embarrassing if I noticed that, ooh, there's something wrong. I didn't click all the necessary buttons to make it happen, but yeah, it seems to be streaming. The hats, like this hat, hat was uncovered, it implies that's the hat that has been used last. But of course, you never know. You know what? I'm just gonna check a box. Okay. Yeah, this is 
this is impossible to figure out if this is how it works. It's just you have to get lucky. You have to be here. And then you have to... So it work this way, I think. Come on, Tom, don't be a fool. Somebody could say, oh, but Rebecca. But quiet, there's somebody coming. Oh, I should walk away, I guess. So Tom and Rebecca are lovers. Yeah, so Tom bought the Cartier bracelet for Rebecca. Hmm. Not time map doesn't mean they're killers, probably means exactly the fact that they're not killers, they're just adulterers. So maybe they should just be thrown overboard. But uh, hey, finally, I saw Rebecca. I wish I could go talk to her. Tell me, little rascal, who gave you permission to come into my cabin? Get out of here! Okay, can I knock? Yes, come in. Help you, Inspector. Uh, Rebecca and Tom's relationship. I have the feeling they get along well. If you know what I mean, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. Uh, well, I guess that was all I could ask him. I was, I clicked the wrong button, but I guess it's. Enough. Just try to find somebody else to talk to and to get some useful evidence. So I was there, those were closed. Okay, is Julio finally here? Yes. Julio, mon ami. Ah, I think he was the crazy guy. What made you? You for inspector. Okay, Tom and Rebecca's relationship. El señor Logan is very protective of la señor Carapuchin. You. Daphne and Julio's engagement. I believe that this should have been the most beautiful day. Unfortunately, Daphne wanted to think a little bit more before getting engaged. I do understand, my little darling, is a very important decision. Is there anything? Uh, wait. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm, Dick. El Senor Schmock. I don't know him mucho. Engagement. La Senora y el Senor Carabujan, realizing that my feelings towards their daughter were sincere, decided to celebrate our engagement. Arriba, arriba. Okay, let's go somewhere else. I guess Chris wasn't here last time, so he's still probably not here. But let's see. Yeah, yeah, he was in his room, anyways. <laughs> Let's 
check out the bar. Drunk, like the way he approaches, like, hey, Wule, do you want to check out my? I want to eat some peanuts, huh? <laughs> These two hide it very well, but I fear there is something going on between them, don't you think so? Tom and wait, Tom and Rebecca's affair. Finally, I got an achievement unlocked. I'd prefer not to get into this, Inspector. Ah, Julio engagement. Everyone was there except for the fiancé. I think I asked this already, and Dick. Yeah, he was charming. Um, okay, okay. Glass. Just drink her booze. Why not? Well, if I was a... Uh, Detective investigating a murder on a ship and, and so on. I would get drunk. Like, you know, try not to get too drunk, but a little bit drunk. Is it Tom? Yes, haha! <laughs> you naughty boy! So, what's new, Inspector? Rebecca and Tom's relationship. I have Rebecca in high esteem. Their affair. Are you kidding, Inspector? There has never been anything between Rebecca and me. Uh, Nobody knows Dick. I guess. Yeah, he wouldn't reveal his dirty secrets. Guys, um, does Dick know something useful? Oi, Govna. This is Starry. These do damn something to hide. You only have to look at them. Ear inspector, yesterday I saw them. They were speaking whispers and that dumb character had a large knife in his hands. Ah, Tom and Rebecca's plot. It's none of my business, but if you always saw my wife on the arm of a guy running around with a weapon this kind, wouldn't you think there was something going on, Inspector? Yeah, I would. I would indeed. Hmm. This sounds a bit too convenient. But now... I guess I can go back to asking Tom about this plot that they allegedly have. <laughs> Pure invention, Inspector? I don't know, I want to punch this guy, just why not? Okay... Ah, I cannot walk in straight, I have to knock, see, I, I told you I have to knock at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, he's the only one who cares about this knocking business, so... Must mean that Father Fabiani likes to. Was it stroke the monkey or chicken or whatever? So, what's new, Inspector? Uh, wait, no, not you. Uh, 
Tom. Tom and Rebecca's plot. I don't know when he knew about it. And uh, nobody knows Dick. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I guess I should have asked Suzanne since she was just right at the bar. But it's really nice that there's this teleport function. Fast travel, as it's called nowadays. But you know, when I was young, we used to teleport from place to place. None of this fast travel business that all the kids are into nowadays. Like King's Quest 3 had TP, like it was sort of cheat. But you know, when I was 10 or yeah, 10 years old maybe, and playing it. I had no idea how to play it properly, so I would just teleport from screen to screen and all the other Sierra games, or at least many of the old ones had something like that. Like this, you could teleport from one screen to another. Yeah, cheating in games is sort of like a lost art form. Like, of course it still happens, and I don't mean cheating in an online game to screw other people over. That's not so cool, but anyways, on with the show. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised of Tom and Rebecca's plot affair. Okay, can I go to Rebecca's quarters maybe? Let's try to knock on the door. Be very polite. It is locked. Okay, let's, let's see if I can knock on, or well, I can knock, but if there's like a response from Daphne and whoever was there with her. Can I ring the bell? Fire, fire, everybody come here. I want you to incriminate each other. And where's the captain? Where, where's the bridge? It's like here or something. Here, here, I don't know. Let's check. No. Maybe one of these days she's gonna like, I know. Actually, okay. Yeah, this is one of those things that I remember reading that the doors open and close, like unlock and lock whenever. Sounds sort of annoying. Would you like to speak to me, Inspector? What may I do you for you, Inspector? Tom, Rebecca and Tom's relationship. We never noticed anything. Fair. No, her ladyship loved the master to get involved in that sort of adventure. Tom, Mr. Luke, it is a brilliant man. Tom's financial difficulties. Who doesn't have problems in this day and age? Tom and Rose's marriage. You know, Mr. Logan is no saint. She cuts every pretty lady around him. Recently, he seemed to be paying more attention to his business than pretty women. 
Tom and Rebecca's plot. You think you let rumors influence you, Inspector? But he's he's quite a Chad, you know, lifting weights and especially just after his master that he supposedly really liked has died. Well, maybe he wants revenge on on you know the to you know avenge himself on the killer or you know, who knows what. Well, yeah, I think most of the people are quite callous, but of course it's in sort of the Agatha Christie tradition, so I cannot blame them. Julio. He is a young man from a good family. I think that he will make an excellent partner for Miss Daphne. Julio's cars. Yes, he loves girls. He's raised often. So is he a racist? <laughs> He's a very respectable people. His fortune. Mr. Esperanza is lucky to have a rich father. Daphne and Julius, Julio's engagement. Miss Daphne is rather capricious. She, she couldn't even show up for her own engagement party despite the fact her parents arranged everything to perfection. The master was very disappointed. Ah, uh, he's turning more French every second but of course he is French. What's his name? It's not Hercule, it's not Helmut Herbert. I don't know. Well we'll find out eventually because I don't remember. Fabiani. But Fabiani is a brave being. Always ready to help the bishop's letter. Mm, I'm afraid that father will have some big problems. His worries. I don't know anything about it, Inspector. Bell Tower Restoration. Yes, Photophobia was looking for money. He even organized a small charité around the Le Bain Ocean. Fabian is charity event. The times are hard, hard, and one does what one can to raise a little money. But in my opinion, the father is not ready to repair the bell tower. The master has been very generous, and the father ended up collecting a huge amount of money. Maybe it's going too French, and nobody can understand me. I mean, pseudo, it's like Monty Python French. Charity earnings. Believe me, without the master, Fabiani wouldn't have collected such a great deal of money. Yeah, so they really... Yeah, so this is actually a relevant information because... The charity earned Karabujan a lot of money, but then, uh, was it... Father Fabiani gave him some money too and he claimed it was for the bell tower restoration but he was lying and it was for something else or no uh, yeah no 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 not Fabiani but I mean Karabujan gave Fabiani the money for something else except the bell tower Susan and Fabiani's friendship you and Father Fabiani have been friends for a long time. Fabiani's suitcase. Father Fabiani wouldn't leave it for anything in the world. Fabiani's voice is in the blood. What do you expect? <laughs> Fabiani is in Mr. Plume is a Plume is a courageous woman, honest and reliable. She and Father Fabiani have been friends for a long time. Sounds invitation. Fabiani insisted in having Miss Plume invited on board. Frankly speaking, the master wasn't enthusiastic about the idea, but he accepted in order to please the father. The father didn't like Miss Plume very much.
Mm, actually, she she doesn't handle herself very well in society. Sometimes she drinks beyond control. Her confinement. Poor Miss Plume has had serious health problem. Alcoholism. Alas, her love of alcohol will destroy her. You know, very important, Inspector. So, since he last, he didn't know anything, Inspector. Dick, do you know Dick? I don't know, Mr. Schmuck. Who? I mean, you. Uh, Hector was his name. Hector. I have been working for a master for 20 years. Then, um, Hector's devotion. I started working for the master around 20 years ago. At that time, I had a, bit, a few run-ins with the law and I couldn't find a job. I accepted instantly when the master proposed to employ me. Hmm. His past. Oh, nothing serious, Inspector. Huge foolishness. I was seeing a young waitress. She let me on. I was young and hot headed. The young lady had to be hospitalized and I was sent to prison. I met the master while out on a weekend pass. We became instant friends. Okay, that sounds very suspicious. And so it implies he beat up the waitress and ended up in prison and then so it, it to me it sounds like mr karabujan hired him to do his dirty work hector and nicholas's friendship the master supported me through my hard times in prison since that time i've done everything possible to show him my gratitude uh, there he is. Okay, thank you. Now the master made an important donation. Meeting at the bar. I didn't know anything about this ma'a. Ma'a. <laughs> that's not French. That's British. Nicholas, there. I don't really see who would do all. That's a grudge against the master. Cartier receipt. I never said this receipt. In case many Mr. Mrs. Karabujan took care of his this. Miss Daphne's engagement party seemed to have made the two of them closer. Okay, well at least I got a lot of new like talking points. Yeah, I, I've seen this picture probably in some gaming magazine. Like I remember the guy with the weights and stuff. Maybe I'll save just in case. Muscle man. Okay. Let's just walk around because well, did I actually was that did I get a clue? Like the, you know, time, you know, passing. Let's, let's look at our watch. Yes, I think it did. Examine. It's very dynamic. I think some is. Have you read Brave New World? Because in the, that, you know, they call, I think, women mainly uh, pneumatic. If they are um, proficient in uh, bedroom activities, as it were. So it's, I don't know, calling a boy dynamic reminds me of that.
Okay, well now at least I have like lots of uh, new talking points. Yes, I'll just go to talk, talk to everyone. I think this is like a... This game is a bit ahead of its time. Since it, it is very like a conversation focused. Uh, instead of, um, you know, hauling objects back and forth. I just want to check one thing. I'm, I have Microsoft being actually open, not Wikipedia. Croisier pour un cadavre is the name. I was just is it croisier or croisier? I guess croisier. 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 Yeah. I don't know. I, I studied French in high school. I don't know much, but I, I'm more familiar with British culture, but a fake French accent is one of the greatest achievements of British culture, in my honest opinion. And also the basis of like at least one third of British comedy. And I, I like British comedy. Uh, okay, was Hector? Hector's past. I don't know a lot. Hector keeps everything to himself. It is said that he and Nicholas became very good friends during the last war. Uh, the Great War. 1914 and 1918 I think I'm just wondering because this game is set in 1920s but I think it's 1924 or 27 maybe it's 27 because then it would be exactly 100 years in the past and I don't think I think it's 1927 and the game is set Hector and Nicholas's friendship. It appears that during the last war, Nicholas saved Hector's life on several occasions. At the end of the war, Hector started working for him out of gratitude. Oh, really? So they were in the war together? I don't think Hector mentioned anything about it. Uh, but this, I cannot ask anything further, so let's see if Tom is still here and if he has anything useful to say. People say that Nicholas saved Hector's life during the war. That's how they became friends. Their friendship, mm, it is true that they were often together, but I don't know anything more. Uh -huh. But Hector, I think it's weird that Hector emphasized that he'd been in prison because I think uh it's more you know respectable to say that oh you i you were together with some guy during the war and that's how you became friends instead of saying that oh we i was a criminal and he'll help me out and but he seemed to be more like hiding the the war story stuff so it's very curious um hmm. Let's go to the priest. Maybe he knows something. 
I pour myself a drink. Knock. Entrez, s'il vous plaît. Can I help you, Inspector? Hector is past. Hector and Nicholas have known each other for a long time. I don't really know how they met, but in any case, Hector felt really close to Nicholas. Their friendship. Uh, well, of course, Nicholas didn't always treat Hector very well, but I believe they shared certain complicity. Okay, this is the word complicity really implies they were complicit in some sort of criminal activities. Just one okay. Julio. Yeah, I guess if I cannot go talk to Rebecca or Daphne or any of these, then I guess I should go talk to um, Julio. Where is Julio? Not here. Yeah, okay, this was also Suzanne's cabin, yeah, so we have talked to Suzanne countless times. Tom. I guess this is locked now. And your row slogan is she, I guess she is aboard the ship, but we haven't seen her or, or the captain. Julio. <laughs> I'd really like to, if I had the skills and, and all of that, to make my own point and click adventure games and to use all sorts of stereotypes of different kinds of Europeans because I guess that's not considered intolerant or maybe it is nowadays, who knows. Hector's past. I don't know this guy, Inspector. He gives me goosebumps. In any case, he and El Senor Garbujan seem to get along very well. El Senor Garbujan would never go anywhere without his butler. Hector followed him like his shadow. <sighs> Thank you, but not very useful. something. Hey, Dr. Dick. Give me some useful. I feel so sick. Oi, what's, what's up, Inspector? Hector's past. 
Duana, I do know these people, but from what I saw, Nicholas and his flunky were real buddies. His friendship. Yeah, I always found it strange. A flunky who is on such good terms with his boss is kind of suspicious. This guy, his accent is really well, I, you know, the voice actor should really, I don't know, be slapped or something. Ouch. I think there shouldn't be. I hope there's not like, um, you know, another one of those that I have to walk from A to B and, you know, from the right direction. Right uh, yeah, the right direction or otherwise it won't happen like last time when I saw or heard Tom and Rebecca Yes, I can go here. Kitchen. Examining the bathrobe, you notice the initials DK. Donkey Kong. Oh no, Donkey Kong is aboard the ship. Searching through the bathrobe pockets, you find a necklace. Open. Oh. Who is this? Am I supposed to recognize her? can I do you for? The necklace. It's Daphne, that is. She never goes anywhere without it. She seems that Agnes, her aunt, gave it to her. Okay, that's, that's good to know. And Agnes, hey, this guy is useful. What's going on? <laughs> Yep, yep. Um, then I guess I should go. Well, is this guy still here? Tom. Tommy boy, what's up? No. Act. Ah, okay, I can. Oh, I should have. I didn't know this because I haven't met Agnes. Agnes is, was Nicholas's aunt. Was so does it mean that she's dead or simply because he's dead? Nicholas. Yeah. 
This necklace belonged to Agnes. She gave it to Daphne on her 18th birthday. I don't know what this accent was. Don't ask. Ah, 18th birthday. So I guess that means something. I'm gonna write that down since it seemed important. Eighteenth birthday, Agnes to Daphne. Right. Wait. Kai. Ah, is Suzanne still here? of walking around back and forth so of course gameplay wise it's not like you know if if you strip it down from the uh, you know the story and all of this uh, this and most point and click adventure, ga adventure games are quite simple mechanically like you know boring even but it's because of the story and the writing and all of that the atmosphere I think it's like you know I really like adventure games although most of them still manage to annoy me here and there and disappoint me at times but they're still one of my favorite genres of games and this one is certainly not bad so far maybe it manages to drop the ball at some point and I really start to hate it but I don't think so like you know once you get into the groove it's quite fascinating fascinating like uh, discovering all these possible these motivations and vices these characters have Agnes Agnes was an exemplary Christian an outstanding woman so I guess she's dead if she was or maybe she's become a Satanist now in her later years. The necklace. This is Agnes Nicholas's aunt. The latter had a lot of affection for the old lady. Agnes was a charming old lady, always ready to help. She was very religious. Julio, are you here? Julio, are you here? How may I be a service inspector? Agnes, Agnes, I know not la senora. Oh, Daphne and Agnes's relationship. Agnes, mm, Agnes, oh yes, I remember Agnes, it's the name of Daphne's aunt. Okay, well, I don't think this relationship option was here before, so I guess that's an accomplishment. This is Daphne's. See, he, he speaks like he's crazy, so it's not just me. I'm not slandering him. I asked everything about Agnes I could have but the plot thickens is Agnes behind this this all is her spirits her vengeful spirit has killed Mr. Garabujan Agnes Agnes was more, more or more that's what I'm told as you know I never knew the woman don't know okay 
how intriguing. I cannot ask about Daphne. Dafty. Dafty Duck. I think Dafty is a very good woman's name. Let's see if Suzanne is up here. Nope. Let's go this way. Now I'm on the port side, right? Let's check the map just for. Because you have port, starboard, port, starboard, port. <laughs> ah, that's the toilet. What? This uh, and this is the priest's room, I believe. Yeah, for the Fabiani, I still gonna go here or here. Julio, I just talked to this Dick, this Tom. It's the cleaning woman still here. Cleaning woman! It's not my fault if you don't know that obvious reference. Cleaning woman! Cleaning woman! It's from a movie, I can give you that hint, but the rest is up to you. these things like if if I was to design an adventure game I would have the main character be some really badass guy like you know Conan the Barbarian or something but there was some reason why you couldn't solve every problem with violence like you could solve some problems with violence or just use violence as a comic relief or something and everybody else would be afraid of you but still you have to use your wits, which is something that the character would be unused to using. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Hector, of course. Because this area has been locked for so long, I, I forgot that actually I can go talk to him again. I'm so stupid. Stupido. Imbecile. Yeah, what's new? Why? <laughs> Agnes. This Agnes was always good to me. Their relationship, Daphne and Agnes's relationship. Miss Daphne loved it very much. Uh, Hector, you passed.
Yeah, he, he doesn't say anything about the military stuff, so that's quite interesting. Yes, there's the, this puzzle with the books, but I haven't found any other books, so I don't think I can solve it yet. Hmm. Come on, take the gift. The guy is dead. He's your friend. You're trying to figure out who killed him. Maybe it will, you know, serve as a clue. Not now, so there's gonna be like some hatch to some secret compartment, but he's not ready to uncover it yet. Clearly, that's what it is. Laundry, 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 my true love. That's the national anthem of uh, Washonia. And he's from Washonia, he's not actually Spanish or anything. No comprendo, senor. Pneumatic boy. Hmm. Now, what do I do with this bar of soap? There is. Let's see if maybe Suzanne is inside the cabin now. Can I like knock on the door and get a response? See if, yeah, this guy, I don't know, I talked to him about everything. Lady Edward Daphne, Susan told me that they used to go on long bike rides during which they confided each other. Ah, oh, okay. I got something. So, Susan and Agnes. Susan holds a genuine affection for Agnes, which was shared by the old lady. So, Susan and Agnes were friends. Okay. That's something. Eleven ten. I guess it must be in the morning. Uh, 
I guess Suzanne is not here. At least now I got new topic, conversation topic. Uh, so I can ask everybody about it and hopefully somebody knows. Suzanne was Agnes's maid inspector. I'm sure she was happy to think that they were friends. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, she was maid. Hmm. Yeah, where is Suzanne? No, it's annoying how the people keep disappearing when you move. Agnes, this girl, girl back. We, they met in a tea room where Miss Bloom worked. They became fast friends. Okay, so. He thinks they are actually friends and not just, uh, you know, master and servant. Oh, who's this monkey mechanic? Don't bother him. He seems very busy. Okay, but can't I like talk to him? Like, you know. He's still supposedly a human being who could have seen or heard something. I guess the servants are just servants and they don't count even as suspects. Except for Hector, of course. This one. Wait. Can I go here? Nope. Nope. I just got a clue from Father Fabiani. Uh, yes. I can try to ask this guy about Agnes and uh, Suzanne what uh, can I do for you inspector no word there we That's the priest, Dick, and Suzanne is hiding somewhere. Uh, Julio, yeah, I haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah, 
is here, that is a child manual useful. Agnes. I know not, Senor Inspector. Take a dump in your drink or magazine or record player, gramophone. Gramophone. They call it gramophone because it's all like a grandma. <laughs> Susan was ugly as maid inspector. I'm sure she was happy to think they were friends. Okay, I think I asked her. Maybe I got this line from him. Don't even remember. Mm. Maybe Karabujan, either his body or his living body is still here, like I Oh, you have solved the puzzle. You found the crowbar. Now you can. Lollipop as a Am I missing? Do -do 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 -do. Certainly this game has issues, like it's, you know, this sort of uh, trying to figure out what to do next or, or so forth is, you know, it's not really a serious puzzle like, oh, where should I go next to catch this next random event or so forth, but it's, I still think it's quite interesting, but it's a, you know, Hopefully, if it was made today, some of these issues would have been fixed. Of course, nowadays you never know. Um,
Back at the broom closet and with nothing to do and not this soap. <laughs> I guess I should check uh, walk through since I'm hopelessly stuck I'm reading the walkthrough, there's something I've missed, but I don't know what. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm sure it's exciting listening to somebody trying to figure stuff out by reading instructions that don't seem to be saying anything new.
you know, I, I sort of even the walkthrough doesn't seem like there's like any obvious stuff because I see what I'm supposed to do but I cannot do it yet. So I maybe I'm supposed to talk like maybe there's some option that I haven't said yet you know some person so at least you know this is like um, there's of course different walkthroughs but this one like what the one I'm looking at now it says that talk to this or that person and ask about every option so maybe I'll just click through this real fast Okay, I guess there was something I was supposed to tell to him. I'm gonna save just in case. Street walker. Okay, let's go and uh, can I go here now? Nope. About here. I mean, well, I can go here, but Because I'm supposed to go to Suzanne and Re Rebecca's cabin or no Daphne's at some point, but I don't think I can get there yet.
Uh, let's go talk to Father Fabiani. Maybe there's something I didn't mention or ask. Just ask everything in, in case um, I missed something. It's always possible because there's like million options that I failed to ask the relevant one. So then Thanks for your help. Okay, I guess there's something I failed to ask him. This place. Yep. Can I help you, Inspector? Agnes. Agnes was Nicholas's aunt. The relation Daphne and Agnes's relationship. Agnes just adored the dear child. Suzanne and Agnes friendship. It's a very complicated story. And can I beat her so she would tell me? Might be relevant, you know, there's been a murder. I'm trying to solve the murder, but nobody else seems to care. This necklace belonged to Agnes, who gave it to Daphne, her niece, as a present. Okay, we sort of knew that. Uh, okay. I am not sure if there was anything new we learned, but oh well. Thank you. 
best answers when you're drunk. You should know that, you know. Can. You will die in the dress. Cosmetic. Aha. What's this? Lipstick. Perfume. Is there a gun or something? What's this? Prescription. Aha. There's nothing else was used in this closet, but I guess I should still have a look here and think in the cosmetics case. Charles alcohol. I really want this scarf thingy or invisible thumb. Invisible thumb, that sounds like a, I don't know, superhero's name or something. No, really, superhero invisible thumb, why, why not? <laughs> of course, if you are like a comic book writer or something and then you steal the idea, you have to pay me like one million dollars for the idea because nobody could have thought of anything so brilliant this random crime whatever I well this thing this might be like you know is that cartridge for the gun that killed I don't know the second gunman of the grassy knoll or something Temporal whiskey. Not this this one. Talk to her then. I'm not in the mood. How can I drink? Glass examine fill up. Um, 
I'm not like I'm supposed to according to the walkthrough I'm supposed to give her whiskey but how can I give her whiskey um, okay like the fuck you game why couldn't I okay so I have to talk to her first and then this this displeases me greatly why can't I just offer her the drink that's too nice of you inspector funny enough I needed a little little pick me up Can I help you, Inspector? So give me, uh, tell me about the prescription. Some medicine for Agnes. The old lady was very ill. Okay, can I uh, ask more about your, her, her illness? Agnes was obviously an old lady, but she had an iron constitution. Illness struck her down with one blow. Instead of hospitalizing her, Nicholas moved her to his house to take care of her. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I can go ask some other people about her illness then. How about maybe her son Dick hey Dick I heard hear you're a dick ha 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 Agnes's illness poor thing she never recovered so interesting. Nah, not this one, this one. Okay, so... Well, let's go ask the butler if he knows anything useful. Come on, man. Can I be of help? Help, help. The master's aunt was very ill. As the master, he felt she would be better cared for at his manor. The master proposed that his aunt stay with him. As she was living alone at the time, she readily accepted. Oh, accommodation at Nicholas. The master was at the beck and call of his own. He did everything possible to make her stay at the manor pleasant. Alas, despite his effort, his ladyship succumbed to the illness. Her death. The master cared very much for his aunt and suffered deeply after her death. Okay, hmm, I guess I should ask about the prescription just to be sure. I don't remember. Uh -huh. I don't know, let's go ask Father Fab Fabiani or something. The book here girl didn't have much luck. Accommodation at Nicholas. When Agnes fell ill, Nicholas let her stay at his house to take care of her. Alas, God called for her. 
Agnes' death. Agnes left us three months ago, leaving behind the entire fortune of the Gurubujan family. Aha, uh -huh, so... Maybe it was Mr. Gurubujan who killed her to get the inheritance. If Barabujan killed Agnes for the inheritance and Suzanne was her friend, then maybe she killed Mr. Karabujan. Of course, maybe she wasn't really a friend with Agnes. She was just friends because she was rich and wanted her money. Um, Tom here. It was very serious. I don't think that we, Nicholas if if I held out much help. I don't know what's going on with his accent, but he still put her up at his house to take care of her after she was his only family. Nicholas put up his aunt during several months, taking attentive care of her, but the poor lady didn't outlive her illness. This was very... left a very large fortune and a surprising will. Aha! Will. I don't know much about this inspector. Now the plot thickens. What does the wheel say? Agnes as well. I don't know anything about this. Then you are useless to me. You can go jump in the ocean for all I care. Jumping into the ocean. Okay, can you tell me about the wheel? Agnes was an old lady who knew how to laugh, Inspector, and I can assure you that she had the last laugh over everyone. And... Everyone loved Agnes. Her death affected us all. She died leaving a considerable fortune, and I assure you that even before the reading of the will, certain people were rejoicing over their windfall. She stayed at Nicholas for almost six months, and despite her nephew's very intensive care, her condition grew worse and worse. She left us not even two months ago. She said two months, and somebody else, was it the priest, who said it was three months? I don't know, I'm getting the impression, like, you know, maybe they were actually all to, like, you know, you know like, killing Agnes to benefit from her money or something, and now, I don't know, somebody wants Mr. Karabujan's money. I haven't talked to Julio in a while. Dick is still very... 
wait I just realized something is if Agnes is the mother of Dick shouldn't Dick be inheriting something from her uh, her illness uh, is terrible senior inspector la poor senora never recovered accommodation and Nick oh I didn't go without a problem the old senora wanted to stay home but as el senor Carabuchan insisted she ended up by accepting alas Agnes passed away very away lately and Daphne is very sad dead Agnes was suffering from a very serious illness will I know not that's uh, Italian, it's not the Spanish accent. <laughs> Nicholas invited her out to his place. I think he liked her, I think. I can stand. That's said. Agnes will. Listen to talk about it, Inspector. Why? I shouldn't. I don't know. He's the son of Agnes, right? Or am I? I don't know. Completely out to sea or something did I ask Suzanne about the wheel? I think I did but and Tom told me about the wheel right but he didn't know much about it yeah, I asked her about this. Did I ask the butler about the wheel? I think I did. Yeah. <sighs> Can I finally go to, I don't know, Rebecca's room or something? The priest, Julio, Tom and Rose. Go have a look, see. A huge fortune, Inspector. She willed almost all of it to her son. A new legitimate child. The rest went to Daphne. Okay, son, finally. 
Oh, a tragic era of youth, Inspector. Agnes was 20 years old. She was a beautiful young girl. One day she decided to take piano lessons. The piano teacher was a young and handsome man. And what had to happen happened. This created a family scandal. Agnes's father killed the bold youngster out of his house and locked up his doors. But the worst was done. There you are, Inspector. This is Agnes's sad story. Agnes's son grew up, and it was only recently that we came upon this trail. His name is Mr. Schmuck, Dick Schmuck. And I knew that already. So. I don't want to see the animation again. Can I ask something else about Dick? Maybe I can go ask Dick something more. So did he actually inherit some of the money? Does he have it? Is me. Oops. Why can't I ask him, hey, did you inherit any money? You. Oh. This is annoying. This is like, okay, so like. Because he's, we've known for like a long time that Dick is his son and I don't know why can't I just ask Dick some direct questions. Okay, maybe. Okay, this guy's not here. Is anybody more? Nope. Nobody knew Agnes had a son. Well, now we do. Uh, not you, I mean Dick. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think she likes Dick because Dick might have money now. in the east and is stabbed on a ship in the west. We didn't know the middle. Very interesting. Um, 
so Tom is Tom in his room now. I can't get in. Well, maybe this is a good time to end it for today and uh, maybe I'll continue it tomorrow or at least sometime soon and hopefully we will finally uncover the secret of this ship so until 10 uh, sun rise something so until later uh, bye